Welcome back to another GeekWatt video. In today's video, I'm addressing the issue, the question, the query, is 8 gigabytes of RAM still enough? So why this question now? Well, if you didn't know, one of the biggest new release AAA titles, Star Wars' Battlefront recommended amount of RAM, was announced at 16 gigabytes. This isn't the first, and 8 gig is still capable of running the game, although it's the lowest amount to officially support or run the game, shall we say. So then, why am I addressing the issue if it isn't a first? It's because in my $800 and $1,000 gaming PC builds and £800 and £1,000 gaming PC builds with the higher end and higher tier graphics cards I've been criticised for using 16GB of RAM and choosing 16GB of RAM as it's overkill or only needed for editing. But this really isn't the case. You don't want to be having a higher tier card creating a bottleneck with such an easily avoidable problem. So what about if you aren't spending $1,000 on a gaming PC? What can you do? It's simple, if you've got 4 RAM DIMMs, say make sure to only populate 2 DIMM slots with your 8GB, which I really would classify as the bare minimum. And the same thing applies to just 2 DIMM slots, only populate 1. It doesn't affect performance at all this way unless you're using an APU, so much so I've done a video about dual channel RAM linked now in the card section below. There has to be another reason I bring this up now. The pure plummet in price for RAM, especially DDR3, is going down and down and is only speculated to fully stop going down around May 2016. So if you've got something like a 380 or 380X or 960 or 970 and, and above of course, rocking 8GB of RAM and plan and play in this game, do yourself a favour, save yourself a buck or two by buying Battlefront off G2A using my link, g2a.com forward slash r forward slash geekawatt, linked in the description below, and grab an upgrade, whether that be another 8GB DIM or two 4 gigabyte DIMs, and get yourself 16GB of RAM, because by the looks of things, 16 gig gigabytes of RAM, sorry, could be the new 8GB. Gigabytes. If you found this video helpful, useful, remember to like, comment, rate, and please do subscribe. Tweet me at GeekWatt, and I'll see you in the next GeekWatt video.